Hey everyone, this is Zero. Uh, we're looking at Aramek right now. Um, the idea of Aramek is you fly a single unit and you control a bunch of other ones via that unit. Uh, I'm going to play through the tutorial and kind of explain the game as we go. Um, so here we go. Okay. So, this is the basics. It's going to teach me how to move. So move in, I go to the highlighted circle, and what I'm using is I'm using the arrow keys, or I can use WASD. This is me using both. You know, you can't tell. I'm going to go up here, follow the tutorial. Alright, tell me everything's working fine. I'm going to kill this. This is a Bucky. Uh, pretty weak, but it does a lot of damage. Jackals. Okay, click and hold, left mouse, mouse button to do this. As I individually click, uh, it'll shoot less. No benefit really to doing that. Um, uh, okay, to go from air to ground. Now this is kind of the premise of the game, is that you either are in the air or on the ground. I mean, well, it's you move between the two. Uh, the reason for this is that when on the ground, you're really in combat mode. And when you're in the air, uh, you can't quite do as much. Uh, so it says I want you to move this longhorn to the center area, fly over it, press space to pick it up. Notice that you move slower than you can go. Alright, so I want to take it. I can fly around and drop it wherever I want. I can drop it here. Nope, but it won't let me drop it anywhere. Okay, there we go. Uh, so what we're going to be used is test. Eliminate them any way you like, but don't just don't let them destroy your tank. Okay, so. Shift Yeah, you can find it with the key one. See, this is, uh, I can either get in front of it and absorb the damage, or I can just deal the damage and help it. Uh, oh gosh, good way. Good way to protect your tank. He's your robot pal who's fun to be with and will fight tirelessly for your cause. So, this is one thing I love about Air Mac. Uh, is they're hilarious. Everything they do is funny. Okay, so when you find yourself damaged, your air mech will automatically repair. Also remember, you need to be in ground form to target ground units with your air mech's gun. Same with air. You need to be in air to attack air. Let's switch to air mode and fly over to the outpost building. Just to the right of us. That's uh, right here. Alright. Now you control the outpost will heal you. Alright, so let's say uh, pick him up, he's damaged. Bring him over here, he is healed. Uh, it recharges my health and my energy. Green bar over your energy, get your health. Uh, the teal bar is your energy. When you're on the ground, you build uh, up and goes faster, as you can see. Uh, if I get over this, it just automatically does it almost instantly. So this isn't really that exciting, so I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to exit this because it's not as exciting as I was hoping it would be for you guys. Um, yeah, so we're, we're actually just going to hop right into, we're going to do a custom. Uh, custom solo, let's do a, let's do a 1v1. Okay. We're going to this. this. This, I think, will be a much better explanation. Okay, so this is the basic game. I'm moving around all over the place. All these units that are blue are mine. This is a repair a repair truck. Move around. Uh, Longhorns are the basic tanks in the game. They're really good to spam. Uh, Seekers are good at killing air mechs in the air. Uh, decent on the ground is just line of sight. It kind of struggles. Uh, T99s are kind of like the secret longhorns combined. But both parts are do more damage. And then a Jackal is a really, really cheap uh, tank unit. As you can see, I start with 20,000. Uh, and here's the build menu. Uh, I can build all kinds of stuff here. So if I if I have that, I can hit 7. It's going to build me some of those. Uh, Q is the hotkey for that. It's automatically bound to that. So what I'm building, I'm building tonight. I'm drop these here. Oh, this one's not done building yet, as you can see. In this corner here, uh, it's still building. As soon as it's done, it pops up and you can use it. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this T99 to tank. I'm going to come up here, 
another jungle here, there's a, an enemy jungle. Then we land, and then we'll hide behind it and go to attack. Now when I get airborne again, I think it's up. It'll take a little tiny bit of damage. Let's heal that. Let's get the trailer. Let's get the other one I had. And what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to put on the power pack right here. So what that does is if it's damaged, it automatically heals, and it does it fairly quickly. As you can see, it's kind of First blood. And I got a kill. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm using my mouse to shoot and, uh, and aim. I'm using my arrow keys to move. However, when I'm moving units, until I rebind my keys, which I haven't done, I have to use keys and space bar. So I'm taking my hand off the mouse, and I'm picking up units. You know, the Jackal's gonna fight, so he's trying to kill me. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna fall back, and he's gonna run away, because he's gonna shoot. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna run back. Okay, so, you can see my two bars, just trying to get I can do everything that he can face all I want, I'm not gonna pick him up. I'm gonna reach the bar. He's gonna over here, he's gonna recharge really fast. So, you can see what they're gonna do, is they're gonna try to damage my outpost, and they're gonna try to take it. The way that works is these four dots right here. These four little blue dots. Once it takes a certain amount of damage, those one of those dots will disappear, and so on and so forth. I'm just gonna go over here and kill them. Oh, no, my hand's got them. So, if they do damage, if I leave him sit here and he doesn't have to ever set it, go away. And once it's down to um, no blue ones, it'll go neutral and it'll be gray. And every infantry unit, one of these guys, that enters it is going to change it either blue or red depending on the color. If there's four red or four blue, it's owned by that group. And will stay owned by that group until it goes completely neutral again. It gives you more income. It also gives you a forward base to pick up your reinforcements from. And it also gives you the power pack. Which means this T99 is going to be able to kill any other T99 that comes near it because it's it, it's recharging health as an attack, right? So unless you do a lot of damage to it really fast, it's gonna survive. As you can see over here, this is what we're doing, we're attacking. As you can see up here, they're turned on, they're cleared on. Okay, so what they did is they made it neutral. Now as they enter, it's going to light them up again. And as soon as it does that, as you can see my turret starts shooting. It's time to eliminate that. What we're going to do is we're going to go in, bolt it. Oh, you almost killed me. I'm going to grab my chin right now. I'm going to bring it over here and drop it. You can also kill more than one unit. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab these carry units. All I do is hold space while I move and pick up units that are small enough for me to carry. So I can carry three. The most you can carry is four of them. If I drop these guys down, I'm going to have that to get all of them. I'm out of energy, so I don't have to grab my entire load. However, I gotta level up, and energy and health will back. It also allowed me to take the space. So the first thing you're gonna do is you can see that I'm gonna go right on the power pad. And it's gonna be able to attack all down here. I'm gonna attack and come over the bridge. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot this one. I'm gonna set it right here. What that's gonna do is go to the group of doors, the majority of the damage going towards the south side. So if you shoot at it, they have to shoot you that. So you can see it's still taking damage, but a lot of it's going to be on the And if I, if I, what I think I know is correct is that that power pad there is not as strong as the one on the outside, but it also still feels your unit a little tighter, but not a whole lot. So I'm just going to put it there just to make sure you can't get it. I'm going to bring this guy over. As you can see, I've hit this entire track. I'm going to hit here, I'm going to go into my belt then. The most expensive thing I can do is I can move the wall. And I can't build any more, so I'm going to drop some of Okay, apparently I have a building queue of... I don't know if I'm going to get wide, but I drop it. So what that does is it makes it automatically attack the same thing. If I pick this one up, and I hit the key, it's going to go to a different place. Because why? So I'm going to go to the base. He will make it go to the nearest house. He's going to shoot. 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 He's going to
just to put you to do it, and then you can still try to win the weapon. Really delicious. Take all these things. I don't know what the fuck I was dropping in here. Yeah. It's a good thing to get some time to take that out. And then you can take that out. It's kind of a good thing to get some time 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 to get some time. Oh, 
it for this video. I'm going to be playing PvP after this. I just wanted to give you guys a quick uh, overview of what Ermac was, just in case you weren't familiar with it. Uh, but this is going to be my game that I can just log into and play, uh, let loose a little bit, and have fun with you guys. Um, as you can see, I'm almost level 2. Next time I will be level 2. And that is it for this video. I'd appreciate comments, questions, rude remarks in the comments. Of course, where else would you put them? Thumbs up, thumbs down, and uh, play safe.